<clears throat> so I uploaded this video in July. It is now October. We're not surprised, you know, it's just my schedule. But I made this video to promote um, my summer tote bag, which I love. Um, it's obviously now three months later. There's only six tote bags left. But um, if you still want a tote bag, go get some before they're sold out. Like I said, there's only six left. And also more importantly to today's times, I'm always late. I actually just dropped a Halloween collection. A crew neck and a t-shirt. Cute little uh, cartoon Moi devils. I love them. Margo and Matthew. They have their own personalities. I created their own personalities for them. I don't know why Justin Bieber's Lonely is playing in the background, but yeah, go look at the site, get a tote bag, and there's a jet flying by. Get a Mohaha -ha crew neck, get it like Mohaha, evil laugh. I love it. I've literally worn it every day for the last week because it's so comfy. Get a t shirt too. Just go. Go on the site and watch and enjoy me going through my bag. There's some pretty wild stuff in there. Hello! How is everyone doing? Me personally just arrived from LAX, got the crystal light in the water. As I was saying, I just got back from LAX. I had to walk two miles to Hunter's car, which is what I drove from LAX to here. His car was in the employee parking lot, so that's, that's what I did. I walked two miles, finally found the car after like 35 minutes of a walk. I was literally sweating because I wore this hoodie because I left at 5 in the morning. So that's how my day's going, but I did just arrive back here at the apartment. Today, I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for actually quite a while, and that is a bag tour. If you know me, you know that I carry this backpack everywhere I go. Even if it's like a trip to the grocery store or something like super small, I feel the need to bring this like just in case like I get stranded or something and like want to like go on my laptop and edit a video or you know, my camera's in there, or like I wanna like, just in case I need to film, film a cool moment, I don't know. It's just nice when everything that I need is in one place instead of trying to figure out what you wanna bring to a certain occasion and then hold all of that. When you can just bring a bag. But the issue is that it, with everything I have in it, it is so incredibly heavy. I've had this backpack for multiple years. <laughs> So, definitely had it for a long, long time. It's just been my little travel companion. Wherever I go, it's always been very helpful at holding all my things. With that being said, I've cleaned it a couple times. Yeah, like I've gone through it, but most of the time, mostly everything that's in this backpack has stayed in this backpack. Besides like food and stuff that I take out, obviously, it's not like that disgusting. But there's stuff filled in every single crevice and we are gonna go through all of it today. And I'm gonna do a little what's in my bag video. And honestly, some of the stuff that's in here, I'm probably not gonna remember. Some of the stuff in here I use on a daily basis, some of it I haven't seen or used in a year or more. So we're gonna do what's in my bag tour today. And the reason why I decided to do this now is because I, sorry it's wrapped around my tripod, I made a tote bag. It's so cute, it has a summer cherry design on it. If you don't know, I have a brand called Moi. It is Moi's newest drop. When this video is uploaded, it will already be up for sale. <laughs> So go get yourself a sexy tote bag now. So the reason I actually made these is because I wanted a tote bag myself because not to be mean to this backpack here, we've been together for years and I don't want to be mean to you. I'm gonna obviously still use you. But as I said, it's so incredibly heavy and tote bags are so in right now and I've seen everyone have them. Everyone have like their own cute little tote bags and I was like, I want one. And then I was like, why don't I just make one myself <laughs> for my brand? So I did. This design is actually my first design on Procreate that I did 100% myself. I love it. Look at it. So yes, these tote bags are on sale and it is free shipping in the US. So go to moi.shop and get yourself a tote bag. And I'm actually wearing a 100 moi hoodie today. <laughs> so now I'm excited that I have this so that I can put my daily essentials in here and it won't be as heavy and it won't hurt my back. You know, it's just an all around good time. Literally has so many uses. Trips to the beach, grocery shopping, trips to the pool, even just something to add on for the summer fit. Or any month fit. Love the tote bag I made. I hope you guys love it too. Okay, so first we're just gonna do the simple side pocket right here. First thing in here is a pack of extra refreshers. It's like little cube gums. I actually got this yesterday. I tried to kind of clean out the side pocket. Next thing I have in here is today's boarding pass. I ended up getting a first class seat. I didn't even know if I was gonna get on because I was flying standby. I literally ended up in first class. It's happened twice in a row. We have our bag tag in case my bag gets lost. That's also from today. I'm gonna throw that away. I'm not gonna throw this. I actually have a collection of my boarding passes, all of them. We have the wrapper, the sealed 
the extra gum. We have my charger. This is the nice charger with the USB-C. Charges my phone in quite literally 10 minutes. It's amazing. Had it for ever since I got my new phone, which has been over a year, like a year and a half now. A crisp pear flavored chapstick. I remember a couple videos ago, I said that I lost this. Um, I found it. It was like hiding in the car. This was my extra one. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I applied some vanilla bean, which was in my pocket, but this one was kind of my secondary one. Let's see here. We got some items. Really dig here at the bottom. Ew, it's kind of gross. What I just digged at the bottom is a bunch of gum wrappers, another boarding pass. As you can see, it's very faded. And are we surprised? Another boarding pass. We have some extra bag tag. My Disneyland pass from when I went to Disney in right when it opened up. May. May 2021. And that is everything on the side pocket. That's basically what the gist of it always is. It's just like boarding passes, some gum, the cash. Then we're gonna move in to this zipper pocket by this pocket. We're gonna start off with my newest sunglasses that I purchased. I found these at a gas station. Um, yep, that's the story. Speaking of sunglasses, we have one more pair. Oh wow, it's kind of a mess in here. This one is quite literally broken, but it, they still work. I think I like these ones better than this one, but I needed I needed the two different styles because you can't just wear one style. A charger for my MyZone. If you know what a MyZone is, that's what it is. It's a charger for my MyZone. And it like counts how many calories you lost while working out and your heart rate. Super fun, right? Here we have a very worn out piece of toilet paper. I remember actually, I was going on a flight. It was June last month. I'm filming this. July 8th. And as you guys know, June is the month where I'm cursed and my nose will bleed nonstop. So I was going on a flight. It was around the time when my nose kept bleeding. Um, and I was worried that it would bleed on the flight. So I wanted to have a backup just in case. I'm now going to throw this away. Copacabana coconut hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This hand sanitizer smells so good. It's very glittery. Who knows if it even works, but it smells fantastic. Two more chargers. This one is a USB-C charger, and this one is just a regular USB charger. I have a lot of extra chargers in my backpack, because then if anyone ever asks me for a charger, I'm literally set. I'm like, oh, I got two right in this pocket. We got this nice little bracelet here. I actually got this in Hawaii. We have another glittery hand sanitizer. This one does not smell as good, though. Disney Mickey Mouse hand sanitizer, which as you can see, literally spilled in the pocket. Ew, it's literally sticky in here. We have this pair of sunglasses, which is very dirty. Some of it's definitely the Mickey Mouse hand sanitizer, but some of it's also white. Interesting. Ooh, Disney Fast Pass. Hello, Minnie Mouse. A guest key for the Sheridan Hotel. We have a Purell wipe. There's a shit ton of these in my backpack. We'll keep a counter. First one. I don't know what that is on the boarding pass, but that slightly scares me. More bag tags hiding in here. Wait, this is a first class seat too. I was literally 1A. That's like the first class class seat that you can get. Salt Lake City to Long Beach, August 25th. Fifth? That was my first time getting first class, actually. You can barely see 1A. What this one is, this one is like quite literally, this is an American. I haven't flown American Airlines in <laughs> quite literally two years. I have no clue when this is from. I wonder what like leaked everywhere. Good Lord. Anyway, a Starbucks reward card. I actually think this is empty, but I'm going to keep it just in case. We have a $10 tag for an H&M shirt. Here it looks like we have just like a bunch of aesthetic photos that I was gonna like, you know those rooms that like have those aesthetic photos set up. Um, I never ended up doing that. A lot of them are stuck together, but these photos are pretty cool. We have some Chanel boob, send money alphabet soup. <laughs> Relatable, are we right? It's been emotional. Just a bunch of shit like that. We have some palm trees. The vibe. Yet another boarding pass. We have a plug with shit on it. I don't know what that is. With some hair stuck to it. Two more Purell wipes. Let's make that three to the counter. We have a sticker for skateboarding. I don't skateboard. Oh, that might have been from when I got my penny board. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a boarding pass that's quite literally crumpled up. You cannot see a single thing on it. I wonder why the ink just falls off like that. The last thing in here is tattoo goo. Skincare for tattoos and extreme sports. For skin that is damaged, chapped, scraped, sun or wind burned. This used to be my mom's and she gave it to me and Marquia when we both got our first tattoos together. I'm pretty sure this is probably from 2000 something, like 2000s for sure. We're just gonna move in a circular motion. So the next thing we have is this tiny little zipper right in the middle here. You open it up and the first thing you see are my AirPods. And then my editing headphones. These are what I use when I edit my videos on my laptop. And these are my old editing headphones. It takes very long to untangle this one. Half of it is literally hanging on by a thread of a wire. I don't know how they still work good. And everyone, when they saw me editing, they were like, Tyrell, what, is, what are you doing? The earbuds on them are literally uneven. Our Apple wired headphones that 
plug into the phone. These always come in handy when your AirPods die or you just want the nostalgic feel of the wires back. That's usually the only things that I use in this packet, but there's a lot more stuff in here, including Purell wipes. Every time I go on a flight, since COVID, they've handed you a Purell wipe at the beginning. Um, and every time they hand me one, I just put it right in this pocket. So there's probably gonna be a lot of these. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 24, 26, another boarding pass. We get 27 of these, 27, 28, boarding pass, boarding pass, boarding pass, so much more boarding passes. I'm literally losing count as I go on, but like 28, 30, editing me can tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> 31, 32, like so much more boarding passes. I can't even deal. Were we at 32 or 30? I'm quite literally losing count. Boarding pass, bag tag, three more Purell wipes, a train ticket on the Metro, June 13th of 2020. What? A piece of jean fabric. I actually remember what this is from. I was cutting holes in my jeans that didn't have holes and I used these tiny ones as nipple covers. Cause they stick. Look at it, it's just sticking there. Definitely keeping that. Dog and cat tattoos. I've literally had these in my backpack since like 2018. Sharpie highlighters, boring pass. We're getting pretty repetitive here. Literally so many cat and dog tattoos. Oh my God, we have the second nipple cover. A broken, remember when these bracelets were like the thing? I wore this all the time and then it literally broke. Another Purell, two more dog tattoos. The building in Seattle. I don't know why I'm blanking right now. What is it called? Oh, the Space Needle. This was a part of my keychain that was attached to my car keys and it just broke up and I've kept it for some reason. And a broken zipper. That is everything. <laughs> Maybe I feel something else. Oh, this is a, we have a fortune cookie here. Any doubts you have will soon disappear my adapter. This hole's actually much bigger than you think it is. We are now going to move to this giant bottom zipper that we have here. This can literally fit like a basketball. I'm pretty sure this was actually what this backpack I first got it for was basketball. First, we have this zip up thing, which actually is a Delta care package that Hunter gave me. We have some mouthwash, a toothbrush. So if I'm like stranded, we have some long socks, vitamin C dietary supplement. This is rock hard now. This has been in here since like August of 2019. A pen, oh my God, it's a mini pen. We love a mini pen. Very, very nice. That was like my first big trip to LA, like by myself, meeting new people, living life. How crazy. <laughs> we have a wrapper for jelly, personal lubricant. <laughs> I got this last minute one night on my way to a hotel in Salt Lake City. We have a back scratcher. It is shaped like a bear claw. Oh, it feels, oh my God, that feels so nice. Oh, oh God. We have a faded tennis ball. Oh, okay. Here we have the actual bottle of jelly. I'm pretty sure I've actually never used this. A Wally pin. I got that from Disneyland in August of 2019 as well. Oh my. We got a lot of stuff tangled up in here. Um, my grandma Brenda got me this. It's a little necklace or like a, what is it? What's the proper term? This is very dusty. It wraps around your phone like this and holds it like while you're walking around. It's good for like the beach, stuff like that. I have literally forgot that existed. Another Disneyland pass from August 25th, 2019. So the same day that I got that Wally pin. Oh my God. <laughs> this is Marquia's electric toothbrush charger. <laughs> and she was in my house in Utah for a couple weeks of July, 2020. And she left her electric toothbrush charger and she was like, oh, hey, can you ship this back to me? She literally said that like in August when she found out that it was gone of last year. And I was like, yeah. And then I always kept forgetting and forgetting. And I literally forgot where it was. I'm gonna leave this out and ship it to her. Aww. We have some Vaseline. I actually first got this Vaseline June of last year. I was in Boston and my nose had its first bleed of the yearly nose curse. So I got some Vaseline to shove up my nose so my nose wouldn't bleed in Boston anymore. And it worked. After that, it was used for a nice lubricant. <laughs> I haven't smelled that in a while. Oh. Oh. Mm. It smells like <laughs> literal <laughs> build up a build up of <laughs> <laughs> 
This was my first um, personal Vaseline jar though. So it's very, it's, this is kind of sentimental. It looks like here we have a portable charger. I've never used this, I don't think, once in my entire life. A Disney Fast Pass between 9.20 and 10.20 p.m. for Indiana Jones. A soggy Revlon nail clipper that's still in its packaging. Four different kinds of chapsticks. One of them is the EOS brand. Three are sweet papaya chapstick brand chapstick. One out of the three of these are open because obviously I found my chapstick brand and have never left sense. We have a car charger. I truly don't know what this is. Looks like a turtle. I think my grandma gave this to me as well. A tail and an arm sticking out. Everything else has fallen out of the turtle. A shit ton of erasers. We have a zip tie. Might need that at some point. That's where the chain was. I have like two chain necklaces right here that I have also never opened, but I was going to try and use that one time. I couldn't find it. Another charger in the bottom. That's five chargers total in my backpack so far for an iPhone. They all work too. I'm literally so handy and nifty. 50 nifty United States from 13 original colonies. We are now gonna move to the side pack. And let me tell you this, the only thing this is filled of is 90, literally a thousand pair of glasses slash sunglasses. That's literally the only thing in this side pocket. Four broken off lens pieces. Word of advice, don't put 50 pairs of glasses in your side backpack pocket because they will break and you won't be able to wear them again. We can do a little fun try and haul though. These used to be sunglasses. They're no, they're no longer sunglasses. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. Is it seven blind mice or is it three blind mice? I can't even see out of this because of all the scratches. Those are all my glasses in my backpack pack. And now we're gonna move to the main part of my backpack. First, we'll do the little zipper right here. As you can see, it's filled with much, many, a lot of change. As we open this up, we have multiple cards. Another one for the Sheridan Hotel. This is a separate one. We have a Panda Express gift card. Pretty sure it is expired. Another Sheridan gift card. And then we have a Marriott vacation club. I like to keep my hotel cards. I feel like it's fun. My old AirPod case. Only one AirPod is in the case because I went on a trip with my family to Bear Lake last September and I left one of them there in the cabin that we rented out. But then I got the AirPod Pro, so everything went fine. Pumpkin pie chapstick. This only comes out during fall time. It's still, oh, it, it, it did work at some point. I'm assuming that the temperature just keeps rising and rising that it melted and now no longer works. Smells fantastic though. Two SD cards in here. This SD card is the corrupt one that I lost over 450 clips from a Florida trip in October of 2019. This one, I truly have no clue what's on this one. A mini screwdriver. This is actually very handy. Um, When I had my old camera that broke, my Canon G7X Mark II, I'd use it for like so often. So the back screen that flipped started getting loose, the two screws. And it was during a trip to Hawaii too. Like I was trying to vlog Hawaii and it literally just fell off. And I was like, okay, great. But my grandpa Dan, he came to the rescue with a mini screwdriver. Now every time, or every time that it did get loose, I would just screw it back up and it'd be all good. This has no use anymore. Kind of sad. Maybe it will at some point. The only other thing in here is this giant amount of coins. Oh, and a hair tie. Got a hair tie. Fun fact, this red shit, it's not blood, it's Halloween makeup. And I accidentally left it in there and I was about to put my old wired Apple headphones in. And I'm at the airport when this is happening. I open up the zipper, the whole pouch is just filled with red shit. My headphones were covered, it was bad. We're already here, we're already at the big pack, you guys. Obviously, the camera that I'm filming on and the tripod that it's on, it is always in here as well. We have my beautiful MacBook. Bro. My editing device, my livelihood. There's that. Right up with that, we have my external hard drive. My third one to be exact. But third time's a charm because knock on wood, this one has been great. My MyZone, which as I showed you earlier, the charger of the MyZone, you put it around your heart and it counts everything for you. A white type of baseball cap. Um, I actually got this like a week ago from Walmart. I might have stolen it. <gasps> but no, I didn't. <laughs> 
I didn't. Why would I ever do that? We have my MacBook Pro charger. And can I just say that these chargers, they literally last, they never break. It's amazing. I have become a little organized. This Ziploc baggie is filled with anything to do with like editing or like camera. Like I have a few battery chargers in here. My laptop dongle, which plugs into my laptop and then I can put my SD card in and that's how I get everything on the external hard drive to edit. And it's just a fun thing. This Ziploc baggie is full of masks. My vaccination card is also in the same bag as my mask because those kind of go together. These two mini lights, let me show you. Oh, well they're dead, so they're not gonna, oh, this one works. It gives you that glowy vibe. My broken G7X. Oh my God, look, see how the back's loose? I could totally use that tiny screwdriver right now. Next thing that's visible is my big camera. There's no viewfinder. I just had to hope for the best, which is why a lot of my old videos that you can see from when I had this camera prior to November, 2018. Some of the times it would be blurry. The lens is literally like stuck because it's so old. Here we have the lens cap for this camera. A intact share. You can print Polaroids from photos from your camera roll if you my mom got me this for Christmas and I have not used it once. I'm so sorry, mom. I want to, but I haven't bought any film to print it with. Because my actual Polaroid camera broke, which is such a bummer. A solar powered, um, why did I just forget what it's called? Not external charger, portable charger. My solar powered portable charger. It literally just charges in the sun. Stick that baby in. And it just works great. Here we have a disposable camera that I never finished. There's literally 25 photos available on this. Let's see if it still works. Wow, it has SpongeBob stickers on the top. This is actually from Playlist Live 2020, but I never used it. A pink portable charger with the pink charger for the portable charger that I got with my friend Andrea right before Coachella because we wanted our phones to stay alive. And we got matching ones and we are coming back for Coachella 2022. This charger is, looks like a USB-C. I don't know actually what this originated from. We have another boarding pass, a smiley face sticker from when I did my professional photo shoots at home by myself. Very shitty sticker. And that is everything. Oh, wait, wait, there was one hiding. My glasses case. Fun fact, I wear contacts and I actually, this is really bad, but I have the monthly ones, which is, I couldn't, I can't, for those, for those who you, of you, oh my God, I can't talk. For those of you who use daily contacts, I apply you. I would rather be legally blind than have to take my contacts out every night before bed and put them back in every morning. But the issue, these are my last pair that I've had in for a lot of months now. I need to go to the eye doctor again because my eyes have gradually gotten worse. Not not because of that issue though that I just mentioned. So even with my contacts in, my vision's still like, it's definitely not crystal clear. So I need to go get an updated prescription and get a new batch of contacts. But these are my glasses for when I don't wear contacts. I don't wear these that often. I kind of want to pick out new ones when I get an updated prescription. But these are an upgrade from my first pair of glasses that I ever got. These ones are okay. I don't hate them. But I don't love them either. I am literally incredibly blind without my contacts or glasses. We have another disposable camera in here and we have another USB-C. One of them is just shorter than the other or are they the same length? No, they're literally the same length. So they must've came from the same thing. And to finish it off, we have a hair tie with disgusting shit surrounded. And that is my, what's in my bag. That's what's in my bag. Who guys enjoyed this little tour. It kind of reminds me of the time where I went through my car and cleaned out my car. Now that I have my Moi Cherry tote bag. I've already used this um, a couple times. I've used them. I went on a hike and packed picnic food with them and a picnic blanket. I went to the pool twice, packed some towels, you know, everything you need there. It's literally great for so many uses. If you want, go get a tote bag. I truly love them. And that's it, I guess, dudes. I am starving. So I think I'm gonna go find something to eat. So now that I think about it, the only thing I've had today is a cookie that a flight attendant gave me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.